Welcome to the final video of the Mark IV Golf Spoiler Build. If you haven't gone and seen the last couple videos, go check them out. Uh, we had three videos on it, getting this whole mold. We built the whole spoiler, designed it and everything, and then we made this mold. Uh, and now in our final video, we're printing our first mold, getting it painted, and getting it on the car to see how it looks. Really quick before we get to the video, I just wanted to say thanks for uh, all the people watching. We almost up to 150 subscribers, which is crazy. Um, this, plus a little bit of just working a lot lately, uh, has taken a few weeks to get this video out. But we got like three new videos coming out the next weeks. So I already have them pretty much ready to go. They were just kind of stacking up on each other with the work and everything. Um, but so we got those all planned out and they'll be coming out soon. I really appreciate everyone uh, supporting and it really helped like all the comments and everything. It's pretty fun. Um, okay, so the first step, we had a few imperfections if you remember from the last video. Uh, just up in the corner where I kind of nicked it. Stupid me. And then um, just one little spot down here. And one up here, I think. Or down at the bottom of that side. But, so we started off, we fixed all those up with some gel coat. Just slowly applying layers, filling it up, filling that little spot. Took a while. Um, and then we wet sand this whole thing after. Wet sand all the new, new gel coat spots. Just get everything smooth, back to normal, so that we can go. Mixed up just a little bit of gel coat. I'm gonna lay it on these low spots. Just a few of them. So, now that we got the mold finally done, we can go back to what we did last time to make this mold. We'll start with the wax layers, and then we get the glue layers down, the PVA, uh, and the honey wax. I think it was, we do eight layers of honey wax. I did them over, like, throughout one night, kind of playing games, just taking a break in between it all. So.
So, everything went down great there. We had two nice thick coats of gel coat, and it was going on well. Um, the next step that we had was to start our fiberglass. After the fiberglass, I did sand the gel coat that I put on, but, um, so the foam that I was filming on, you might notice in the last clip, I think, uh, it might not have been perfect camera quality, just because I had dropped my phone and it had shattered into a million pieces. Let's see if I have it here. Whoops. Uh, but, so it was kind of like correcting all the time and it was jumping back and forth like it wanted to focus in different spots. Uh, it did, camera, the video didn't come out too, too bad, but it's not perfect, you know? Um, so I got a new phone. I filmed the sanding and a few other clips, but... That phone corrupted in the middle of a time lapse, so now we got the phone that you're looking at. I lost those videos. Oh well, happens. But this phone's a lot better, so it's a win-win for both of us, really. And yeah, now we're here, and we're back. And guess what? We're on to fiberglass. My favorite time. Um, I did two and a half to three layers, just depending on the spots, you'll see. I was try going for something thin this time. I wanted to be in the middle of flexy, but firm. Uh, just because it's so big, I want it to be firm, but I also feel like this arch would give some rigidity. Uh, looking back, I think I'm going to do this bottom portion next time. A little bit thicker, but it's the first one. We're testing. Uh, we're, next one's going to be a test too, and then hopefully maybe the third one will sell kind of thing. If the second one goes really well, we'll sell it. But uh, we gotta, we got to start, start on one end and work our way up. But yeah, I'm really happy with how the top came out uh, with the thinner coats of fiberglass. But I think just down around here, I want to go one layer thicker. Um, but yeah, we'll check out those fiberglass clips and everything. Uh, came out pretty good. Fiberglass came out pretty nice. Next step is we gotta pop that sucker out of there. We got the wedges, started kind of working it. Um, it was below zero, so I didn't want to use a bunch of water and have it freeze in there or anything like that. Uh, but it was it was pretty thin, so it came out decent. You'll see there, and we get a nice little pop. Um, and then we start with the wet sanding.
I was kind of stress tested while I was wet sanding and kind of pushing the limits of how flexible it was, and I cracked the top of it. Uh, my fault, obviously. I was I was sanding it and kind of like giving it the little squeeze. We're like, ah, it's pretty flexible. I'm pretty happy with this, and then we got a crack in the back. So that's why I decided I was going to go one layer thicker on the back portion because the front was fine. It was handling it really well. Um, it was just the back where it kind of rolled around. All right, so. We just gotta get that fixed up. Not a big deal. So we do that next, we patch it all up. I start cutting that off, I, I let it dry. Start trimming that off, we gotta, we gotta start shaping it up, getting it cut, sanded down perfectly, and got my finger stuck in the grinder. These flappy disks, these things will cut you right down to the bone. Trust me, I know. I felt it, I feel, still feel it. We got it all taped up, got the seal back up pretty nicely, but uh, <laughs> you start touching this finger at all, it sends shocks up there because I nicked the bone pretty good, I think. <laughs> oh well, happens. But we get it all shaped up, then we start sanding it out, and man, came out pretty good. Okay, so got this all cut to shape looking really good. I'm very happy with it besides the finger. Only issue we ran into was right here. Got a tiny little chip. So we're gonna put some body filler in there. But first I thought we'd take this out, test fit it on the car, just make sure it's still looking pretty good.
Okay, so this thing is ready for to get like primed. Um, essentially, this is how it would probably ship out because you don't want to leave primer on for too long without uh, painting. But it's looking pretty good. Okay, so this thing's looking real good. Uh, I fixed that spot right there. Just a tiny little bit of Bondo. Like I was saying in the video there, if I'm going to be selling them, or when I'm selling them, uh, hopefully eventually, we uh, that's probably how it would come, just with the gel coat, and then if there was any uh, spots that had to be fixed from bubbles, hopefully not. Uh, only one of my first ones, not too bad, I think. Um, that they would be bonded already and fully and sanded and everything, just ready to go. But I wouldn't want to prime it because everyone has their own kind of paints that they like to use and stuff like that. And I just feel like might as well come in the gel coat. That's how most fiberglass comes, I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. I could be. The next thing that we got to do, though, is sand that primer that we put on there. Just make sure it's nice and smooth because this is a pretty dirty shop. It's not clean whatsoever uh so we get some imperfections so smooth those out and then we'll lay on the base like the base color um we got a color match spray can just from the local paint store and then uh we also grabbed some clear coats so i think i have both those layers coming up we took uh this little heater here after each layer and you know used it to keep it warm make sure it went nice got, got nice and tacky and then once it got tacky i uh i took it inside so it could cure a little bit of a pain, but it is how it is. I don't have a heated garage or anything, and I can't paint inside, so that's what we gotta do. Okay, so I brought this thing inside to dry and it is looking good. I'm really happy with it. 
a few little imperfections here and there. I mean, I did paint it in a really dirty ass garage, so, so it's not gonna be perfect, but man, for some rattle cans and everything, it's looking good. And honestly, the mold is so perfect. I don't see any like imperfections in it really or anything. I'm so happy. It's gonna be printing these things out mint. Uh, but yeah, we'll let this set while uh, I go to work for the day and then come back tonight and hopefully get it installed. Okay, we're finally gonna get the spoiler put on here. So I got the surface prep and uh, we'll get this all clean. We'll get the spoiler all clean. We'll put down our uh, tape. Let's get the spoiler on. So let's get cleaner. Okay, so I took two big strips. Um, I'm hopefully gonna be selling, like have these strips included with the, the uh, spoilers when I sell them if I can. Uh, I just gotta find the right roll and stuff like that or something with a backing on it. But, so essentially we bring it down to here and we leave the tape on. You wanna rub it so like that tape gets really on there and then these corners here, you peel up just the front part. Oh, sorry about that. You, uh, you're gonna peel up just the front part of the corners and fold them over on little 45s here. So you're gonna fold these 45s over and then you put your spoiler on here, you get it all lined up and you grab this and you peel it out from underneath it. It'll peel that out and you can kind of stick it as you go. It's just the perfect way. So you're gonna see me do that here. Man, I honestly couldn't be happier with how that how it came out. We got in the car there nice and looking good last night. And then this morning I woke up and I gave the car a nice wash off. Um, the corners of it, I don't know if I explained this in the video, but the bottom corners, the adhesive that I had wasn't thick enough to get a good grip down there. So I ended up making like these little pads, like these six stacked pads. And I kind of put them in the corners and I was able to get the corners to stay up nice. Um, I'm gonna find another a better solution. That's why I want to do the second one and kind of test all that We'll do a video with that as well, but I don't consider that the final. I think that's more of a uh, An add-on so check out the video. Let me know what you think uh, in the Sun kind of it was a little dark last night for those videos and then um, Yeah, let me know how it's looking with the nice and clean. I'm really happy with it. All right, man, I could not be happier with how it's looking. It came out perfect. The lines just flow smooth and everything. Mwah. I drove around for an hour and a half today. It all stuck on, stayed where it was, didn't fly off onto the side of the road on me. So huh, I'll take it. Didn't really have any imperfections. The only imperfections I had were with my paint, but that's me. I mean, in my shop, I wasn't trying to be perfect with it. I was just trying to be look good from five, ten feet away, like the rest of my car does, you know? Um, <laughs> but yeah, it came out so good. If you're still stick around at this point, man, thank you so much. We've been doing pretty decent lately, which is like really cool to see. Uh, if you enjoyed the videos and you want to see more stuff, we're going to be working on this car more. We got some more dump trailer stuff coming now that needs to be finished. Uh, we got apartments like we're we're doing a full addition to an apartment uh i'm filming that kind of thing right now that'll be pretty good and then we have another sim video coming out as well so i got a lot of stuff lined up and already ready to go so hopefully you can get those videos ready and i'll have them pinned off because i'm going on a little little family uh trip here soon but hopefully the videos will still flow and everything i just wanted the the spoiler video to be the next video we saw because i was hyper focused on that but now that that's done 
we can keep moving on. I've been filming little bits and pieces uh, while I've been working on what I've been working on. So you'll see that too. But, all right, I'm done rambling. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the videos, uh, I really appreciate it. If you like and comment and let me know uh, any suggestions. And, fuck, I mean, if you're still watching at this point and you have any uh, name ideas for some for an auto body company or like a aftermarket part company, something with Bolin maybe, I kind of like using my last name for stuff. Let me know if you think you have anything, and uh, thanks. Oh, one more thing. Oh, I almost forgot. If you want to see some more videos, check these ones out. <laughs> All right, now have a great day. Bye.